Google Sites Beginner's Guide Basic Tutorial Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Sites to create your own website. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to sites.google.com and then from here, you're going to automatically be logged in via your Gmail account. So whatever kind of Gmail account you are running on your browser, you're going to be logged in. If you haven't logged into your Gmail account, then you're just going to have to log into your Google account. And then this is going to be your basic dashboard. Board. So on your left, you have your basic sites, docs, sheets, and all that. And then this is like the home page. So to get started, you can go into their template gallery and then you can view all of these different templates over here. And you can pick one out and start editing that. Or if you want to start from scratch, you can just click on the blank over here and then you can get started on their website editor from blank. So we're going to begin creating our website and I just want to create like a simple website, a kind of landing page-esque website, not exactly a landing page. I want to create like a welcome website for a new project or a new program. So uh, welcome, that's going to be like welcome to our summer camp this and i'm going to add an exclamation then i'm going to expand the text box and then i'm going to reduce the font size i'm going to reduce it to 30. i'm going to select the text and then reduce it to around 36. i'm going to expand this like so and now i'm just going to select the text and i'm going to make sure it is placed right at the center like so and now i'm going to enter my site name so you can add a logo as well if you already have a logo but if you don't we're just going to add our site name which is going to be um jolie summer camp like this and then what you can do it this is a bit too extensive so uh, i'm gonna add jolie camp i think that even sounds a bit better so we're just gonna add that and then you can just select your text and then you can edit it accordingly so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change out this header so we're gonna click on header type and then we are going to add a title only kind of header so i don't want like a background image but maybe i want to add like an entire cover photo so yeah, I think this looks better. And now I'm gonna change the image. So I'm gonna click on select image and then you can upload your own image or you can search the gallery over here. And what I'm going to do is maybe I'm just going to click on search over here and I'm going to search for kids or I'm just gonna search for summer camp like this. So I'm just gonna search for summer camp and I'm just gonna use this image. I'm gonna click on select like this and now I'm going to change the text on top. So I'm going to change the font of this text Selecting the text, I'm going to change the font. Selecting the text, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to add this kind of text, I'm going to add it in extra bold. And I think it looks pretty good in white, so I'm going to keep it in white. And this is going to be like our first page. So after that, I'm going to go into the pages section over here. And you can see this is like our basic home page. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to click on this plus icon. And once I go on over here, it says new page, new link, or new menu section. So I'm just going to click on new page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this new page called our story. I'm going to add this new page and I'm going to obviously, you know, change it up. I'm going to change the header type to title only. And then I'm going to add another new page called our motto or maybe not that. I'm just going to add activities and then I'm going to add another page called uh, plans. And then I'm going to add uh, reviews or instead of reviews, you could write maybe experiences or customer experiences. Instead of writing customer, maybe I'm just going to add parent reviews that sounds like a bit more legit so i'm just going to add that and i've added like these three new pages now i'm going to go back onto my home section and this is how they are going to look these uh pages now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add go onto my r story section and then i'm going to go into the insert section and i'm going to insert a text box over here so i'm just going to insert a text box and you can write whatever story you want our story begins in 1990 blah 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 you can add whatever you want xyz whatever text you have and then after that you can add like an image as well you can share images or you can you know add like a layout as well so if i remove this text block over here i can just click on delete i can just delete this and then i can just add this layout so i can upload an image and write the story section like so I'm just going to add like a sample image and sample story. So now I'm on the activities page and I've added this kind of layout and I'm just going to
to click on plus i'm going to click on select image and i'm going to go into google image search and i'm going to search for camp activities you're going to upload your own images if you want you can even take some royalty free images from google or you can upload your own images depending on what kind of images you're looking for so we're just going to take these images like this and i'm just going to insert them over here and i'm just doing this as an example for you guys to better understand how to create your little website and i'm going to add the last image and i'm going to go back into google image search and i'm going to search for school camp or i'm just going to just find another interesting looking activity so it could be this one and i'm just going to click on apply and then i'm going to add the details about the activity so zip lining and then i could add row boating or boating and i could add painting or art skills whatever you want and i'm going to make sure everything is aligned to the center and now once i've added the activities page i'm going to go into the plans page and i could add uh what i can do over here is i could add this kind of layout you don't have to add layouts i just like to add them they make it look a lot more interesting but i can just click on text box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this text box and once i've added that i can add you know basic and that is at nine or that it could be at like uh 60 usd then i could add premium that could be at 80 usd and then i could add you know teens camp which could be at 120 usd so you can you know add your different plans as well and after that i can go into the parent interview section and then i could add this kind of layout and i could you know give some of the uh, other people's experiences i could write them down over here as well and once you have designed your website so i'm going to go back onto my home page and i think this looks pretty good once you have finished your design you're just going to click on publish over here you're going to add your web address you're going to click on publish and now my website is being published now you can see it has been published and i can click on view over here and you can see our website is live it looks so good and professional and if i click on our story over here it's like this i can click on activities and the activities that i posted and then the plans like this and then the parent reviews are left empty so they're empty for now so this is how easy it is to get started and create your own website using google sites and we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note i would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our youtube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.